And um, personally, I think what caused the London riots was to get attention from the government because there's a high rate in unemployment in young people. Well, to be honest, I think that the, the London riots began out of outrage when Mark Duggan was murdered by the police. I think that was very much uh, causal and gets undermined in, in reporting of it. Um, I also think that it happened at a time when there was the potential for unrest at the beginning of the... It was at the beginning, wasn't it, of the coalition government. Um, at a time when austerity was really starting to mean something. And that I saw one amazing interview with one of the rioters who said that they went um, and they attacked the window of every shop, every place that they'd applied to for work that had never even acknowledged the receipt of their application. I even went to Clapham, yeah, <laughs> to go where I handed out a CV. I was like, yeah, you don't want to reply back to an email or I come up here with my CV. All that, yeah, this is payback, isn't it? Payback, boy. If somewhere had said to them, OK, we'll give you an interview, or no, sorry, we're not interested, they let it go. But I think that what we saw was a kind of manifestation of a government that has a total neglect for poor and working class people and um, a police force that is still racist. Standing between generation, cross-generation and cross-ethnicity, I suppose, young disaffected people felt they had nothing they could hope for older politicians i suppose don't provide enough for them um what else also just a bit of looting people you know committing crime i suppose a mixture of reasons really i think it was more of a contagion effect in the sense of it just spread and people seeing it on the news and seeing what could happen and what they could get out of it by raiding things. And then I think it just got out of hand, really. I mean, the instance of, I think it was the mattress factory started burning. And I think people just jumped on it and they, they didn't understand the political meaning behind of it.